this is an AIA continuing education program. Um, there's been an awful lot of discussion about how to do continuous installation in both residential and commercial uh, construction. Um, the technology goes back uh, almost a half a century, but like most things, um, the details are important and sometimes it's useful to go over some of the foundational or fundamental uh, physics. Um, it sounds like a, a crazy place to start. Uh, what is a building? Well, a building is a different thing to different groups. Um, to an engineer who practices building physics, a building is an environmental separator. It keeps the outside out and the inside in. Uh, to many architects, we want to connect the inside to the outside and the outside to the inside. And so right off the bat, we sometimes have a dysfunctional relationship. Um, to all of you architects, I want to point it that, out that sometimes the outside sucks and you don't want it connected to the inside. And sometimes the inside sucks and we don't want the inside connected to the thing that separates the inside from the outside. So what we want to do is environmentally separate the interior from the exterior of the building. That environmental separator can never be perfect. Um, sometimes the inside does get into the thing that separates the inside from the outside. And we have to decide whether we want to kick that back or let it through. And sometimes the outside gets into the thing that separates the inside from the outside. And, sometimes, and we have to decide whether we want to kick it all the way back or let it through. How much we kick back and let through, respectively, depends on where we are climatically uh, and what's going on in the building. Obviously, uh, an indoor swimming pool or a museum is a different internal environment than a warehouse or an office building or, or a house.